The story of Victor Orban is really about how a former liberal activist was turned into an almost elected autocrat. So when the Soviet bloc collapsed, he founded the center-right party, the Fidesz, but shifted more and more to the right. Victor Orban was a prime minister in 1998, but he was elected once again in 2010. Oda jutott a liberális gondolkodás Európában, hogy ma a szabadság első számú ellensége. Tehát a liberálisok a szabadság ellenségei ma Európában. Over the past nine years, he rewrote the constitution. He has put some new rules to limit, for example, the influence of NGOs, to limit opposition parties, but also the press. And at the same time, his business friends started to buy newspapers, media websites, TV stations, and turn them into propaganda media outlets. The coverage of the government are cheerful and are meant for Orban to keep its electoral base. And while those pro-government media smear opposition figures like the European Union, human rights activists, they do not mention, for example, corruption allegations in Orbán's entourage over the misuse of public funds. For those media outlets, being a good Hungarian is all about being a Christian conservative. And I would like to express that we are proud to stand together with the United States on fighting against illegal migration, on terrorism, and to protect and uh, help the Christian communities all around the world. More progressive ideas are considered as foreign interference trying to destabilize a country. And there is no need to produce good journalism anymore because the government, the public companies are spending millions of dollars in advertising campaigns to keep those media afloat. What happened recently is six months after Viktor Orban was re-elected for a new term in 2018, all those media groups kind of merge into a new secretive entity named Keshma, the Central European Press and Media Foundation. And it's a move that will not improve the freedom of the press, uh, which was seriously undermined since Orban came into power according to watchdogs like Reporters Without Borders. So today in Hungary, the free press is mostly online. They are trying to do their job, but they are very grim about the future of the country. Tisztelt Hölgyeim és Uraim! A Magyarországot súlyosan sértő jelentésre adott választ, amit a magyar kormány dolgozott ki, most memorandumként átadjuk a parlament elnökének. Ez a jelentés mélyen igazságtalan Magyarországgal, és Magyarország népével szemben. No, Mr. Orbán, it's not against Hungary. You have not the right to say that that these people here are fighting against the Hungarian interest. It's the opposite. It's true. It's not your interest, but your interest is not the Hungarian interest. What we are defending here is Hungarian democracy and the interest of the Hungarian citizens.